It's Saturday night, so you know the drill already. Tonight we're going to check out Mr. Nightmare. Real quick, what we'll throw in here is just a little 15 second clip, but do you believe in ghosts? She believes. I am, and I believe that this little number that is playing right now is uh, for sure paranormal. We have tried, we've, we've tested everything, and tongues just don't fly open like that. So, that's a ghost. We didn't rig it with a string. We, we don't, don't have rats. Fish, so there's no fish. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't a mouse or anything of that nature. I hit the tongs to test them and see if they would just open by themselves, and they don't. You have to physically, like, push the little knob thing to make it open. I don't know the answer to this. It's a mystery. It's a ghost. I don't think it's a ghost. I don't think it's somebody, ghost. I don't think a ghost one. It's a ghost. So, you guys can help us decide, and while you're thinking about it, we're going to go ahead and watch Mr. Nightmare. Let's do this. A little compilation of some pretty creepy videos I found on the internet the past couple weeks. A TikToker by the name of Eon Jun was exploring an abandoned nursing home one night for the thrill of it, planning to post it to his TikTok. Little did he know he'd capture more than he bargained for. In the darkness, he could see a figure further down the hallway walking across, and immediately knowing it looked like a person, he turned around and left. After getting home, he tweaked Smart the brightness dude. of the clip, and this was what he saw. Sorry. <laughs> so he returned to the nursing home later that night with a friend this time, recording he one said, you come trying to catch something die, else on video that in that same hallway. His ass, he come at this us. how that went. He better not come at us. I swear I saw something down there. Zoom in a little bit more. I'm trying to. Right there, right there, right there. See it? Over. What the? I know oh, what the? I saw, I saw that. That was actually a person. Well, I'm not joking. Let's get out of here. Try and talk to him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Demon! No, dude, that's actually Oh, yeah, now, now you're scared that there's... That's actually a plus. The two are both apprehensive about moving further into the hallway where there was once again a black figure seen walking into one of the adjacent rooms out of sight. I can heal him down. I'm not fucking playing. I can't hear anything, dude. <laughs> well, well, ask him if he's... Crazy. No, Say, I'm not. Hey, Y'all talking to each other. It walks past again. It's a real plus. Then this talk to yeah. him. Whatever it is, then. As the two friends are making their way back out of the hallway, I hope they he hear a terrifying him. scream that barely sounds human, and the video cuts right there. Yeah, there's nothing there. Hey, let's go. Alright. I know I saw something, and I know I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> That's exactly what I'd have done. Security guards can see some pretty creepy things while working the overnight that. shifts. Oh In this my video, god. A security guard is left confused when he learns of a new employee he wasn't informed about. However, when he's shown the security footage capturing his perceived interaction with the new employee, he discovers something pretty terrifying. And watch this, y'all. This man, he <laughs> called his boss asking him, why didn't y'all tell me they had a new employee, right? He constantly looking back, right? He's talking to somebody, right? Just watch, this is creepy. Look. Having a kind of whole conversation with somebody, right? Saying that somebody came and he dapping that person off and everything. Now see, look, y'all see when he dapped them off. Look what dapped happened. Dapped him off. He dapped <laughs> him off. You see that shadow? And then the shadow goes over here. And Dude, he I see it. For him. He swear, he swear to God, he sat there and had a whole conversation with this person. He moved over, talking to him and everything. That's how you know your gummy This apparently out. isn't the only time this exact scenario has happened. In this next clip, which was filmed by a co-worker of another security guard through oh, a CCTV feed, the guard can be seen talking and gesticulating as though having a conversation with someone in one of the building's corridors. Who is he talking to? When asked by a co-worker over the radio who he was talking to, the guard replied that he had been chatting with a woman named Miss Abigail, who had yep. asked him about a man named Mr. Griffin. Dispatch to 329. Yes, sir. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm talking to a early lady. I saw her walking by the door and she uh, said she's looking for Mr. Griffin. Her name is Miss Abigail. You 
crazy. Did you say Miss Abigail? Yes, ma'am. She says she wants to see Mr. Griffin, and I told her that uh, the canvas is closed, that she should come tomorrow morning, and she might see Mr. Griffin. Are you sure you're saying Miss Abigail? Like, she's been passed on for two years now. Oh, I can't wait that, please. Miss uh, Abigail is she she died two years ago. <laughs> you mean you can't see the person I'm talking to? Nope. What's no, there's call? nobody in front of you at all. <laughs> no <laughs> As his coworker quickly pointed out, however, Miss Abigail had died two years prior. In the comfort of his own bedroom, a young mm. man is practicing piano. Ironically, the Silent Hill theme song when he sees this. Oh. Uh, that's not cool, dude. Dude, you conjuring stuff. Go on with all that. What did he see? If you didn't see it, look closer at the reflection in the TV screen. black figure can be seen sitting on the bed in the reflection of the TV, but when he turns to look, and when he turns back to the TV, the figure that was there three seconds ago is no longer there. Witnessing this while practicing the theme song to Silent Hill would yeah. surely be an unnerving That's... experience, to say the least. No. <laughs> he went to bed immediately after. A man starts to hear his wife's voice calling him from downstairs. The problem is, the man is home alone while his wife is away on a trip. She hadn't been home for two weeks at the time this was recorded, and he should have been home alone. No. Along with the calls from his wife's voice, there's the repeated sound of a door being slammed shut. A security camera in the house shows another angle capturing the door making this noise, being opened and closed seemingly by itself. While all of this is going on, the rotating the horse carousel music box in the TV stand Ouija starts playing music by itself. Shelf. Some people suggest this could be a skinwalker, disguising itself as the man's wife. Others suggest it's could just be. a straight-up demon, which was summoned by using the Ouija board also tucked in the bottom of the TV stand. Perhaps. If I die tonight. <laughs> Alexa, turn on all lights. Whatever it may have been, <laughs> sure made for a creepy Smart video. Smart man. The Kinect was a discontinued accessory for the Xbox 360 and Xbox One. It contained an active sensing yeah, depth camera using structured light and a color camera. It's an SLS. It was intended to be used oh. as a controller-free game controller tracking the body or bodies of one or more players in its field of view. The Kinect is able to pick up when a new person enters the room and recognizes body shapes. In this video recorded by a man's Kinect camera, you can see him going to sleep on the couch as the Kinect camera produces a stick figure that tracks his movements. However, at some random hour in the night, this is what shows up in the video. Dude's sleeping at a weird angle. Just... <laughs> <laughs> He's all over the place. <laughs> Some demon shows up to masturbate to. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, diddling herself. Looks like. It seems as though someone materializes fingers. out of thin Ugh. air and approaches the man sleeping on the couch. I'll Not tell you what the figure it looks like. leans no. over, watching the man <laughs> sleep, and then slowly and ominously approaches the camera before the video ends. <laughs> I can't. Uh, 
That was Joe Biden. He was SLS. Just SLS is weird. Oh. 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 Have you seen Corn Pop? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh. Go away. He moves like Biden. Go Oddly away. enough, there doesn't seem to be any other actual person physically in the room besides the man sleeping on the couch. That's not cool. So what exactly was this connect picking up? A man sleeping on the couch while Joe Biden comes and stands over him and fiddles with himself. A TikToker named Cass started uploading videos showcasing an Annabelle's Hugs doll she received as a gift. The doll was purchased on Amazon. Oh, I've seen this one. Right from the start, Cass felt like something about the doll felt alive. You guys, yeah, I didn't buy this fucking last. Movie. It was a gift, so you could stop asking me why the fuck I would buy the monkey. I didn't buy it. The person who bought it got it off of Amazon. It's an Ashton Drake doll, and um, maybe possessed as fuck was not in the description, so you guys... <laughs> I just noticed something crazy as fuck, and you're all gonna think this is so insane, but I just took out the certificate of authenticity for her, and you're not gonna freaking believe the name on this thing. Are you shitting me? Perhaps just an unfortunate coincidence that the doll shares the name of the popular horror unfortunate movie doll. Is but it is definitely something to sure. acknowledge after seeing this video that Cass recorded of her taking the doll out of the box. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Oh my fucking god, I swear to god, this thing just fucking looked at me. Oh my fucking. <laughs> oh my. The doll's eyes momentarily turn to look right at Cassidy. What makes this even more disturbing is that the doll's eyes are not supposed to be able to move. Also, for the people who I just close that lid back up, say turn oh, to just, cinder. Her eyes are supposed thank to you, move. But no, thank I have you. those dolls. When you pick them up, their eyes move. Her eyes aren't moving. They ain't I moving. I can prove it to you because I would break right that there, thing in out. pieces. But I see. If you have any creepy videos you want to send me, check the description for my email. Dude, those were good. I I'm like not those. familiar with Mr. Nightmare, but that wasn't bad. Those were actually pretty good videos. I still like the security guard ones. Yeah. Because those, those are, yeah. Right. <laughs> Kick ass. I don't understand the whole concept of the, I used a Ouija board. Now I have a demon in my house and my wife's not home, but I can hear my wife's voice. I can see a door opening and closing, but I can't see who's on the other side of the door. I don't really understand why anyone would remain in that home if that were the case. If it was fact, if that's real. I'd be like, I'm out. Yeah, I'd be See gone. ya, I'm climbing out the window. I don't care how I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I just wouldn't stick it. Why would you want to put yourself through that? Because now... That's like trauma, man. Every little sound, every teeny tiny sound... It's going to set you off. I don't understand why anyone would stay in that home. If that was real, I'm gone. I'm calling yeah. my wife to tell her, don't come home. I'm not going to be here. We're out. We're coming back during the day to get our stuff and gone. Mm -mm. I'll be getting other people to go get my stuff. <laughs> and why is it that it can do that? but it can't open his door to his room and come in that room. Well, if it is like a shapeshifter or a skinwalker of some sort, it's going to try and lure him out. But why? Why lure him out? What's the purpose? Scare factor? What do you think? Ghost hunters real or fake? Depends. Some of them are. Some of them, like Jason from Ghost Hunters from Taps. In the comments, tell us what you think. Ghost hunters, though, are they real or fake? Are you more prone to believe Someone who posts a video who's not anything to do with paranormal just happens to have something like we had, where our tongs opened up and flop out on the floor. Is that more compelling than someone who has a channel who every week goes out with a flashlight and hunts and they find something? Yeah, you tell us what you think, because y'all already know what I'm going to say. If y'all haven't been here before, um, I'll say no, but... <laughs> I feel shocked! I believed more when Ghost Hunters came out and then when that douche with glasses. What's his damn name? The douchebag in glasses. Zach Baggins. Zach Baggins. Yeah. When that guy came <laughs> out, it made me not... He, Zach Baggins to me is the Chris Angel of magic. That's good. It's good theory, bro. I believed in magic. The Chris Angel of... Till 
Chris Angel came out, and then I stopped believing in magic. And then David Blaine, then I was reinforced again. But like, share. <laughs> Subscribe. Do the thing. Do the thing. Until the next time, guys, as always. Come at me, bro. The bro down is over. Let's bro out.